Shalom, and welcome to Darche Choshech, Pathways of Darkness, a linguistic analysis of the wrong ways of Proverbs. Today we will discuss the two words that are generally translated as wickedness. The first of these words is ra, it's resh ayin. Genesis 2.9 And out of the ground made Yahweh God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Father has nothing against you having knowledge, da'at. Um, it's an intimate kind of experiential knowledge, and it was his goal to protect us entirely from evil that we wouldn't uh, ever have to know about. But uh, our forefather, Adam, uh, and his wife, Eve, disobeyed the commandment, and so now we are able to have that experiential knowledge of evil. It's good to have knowledge. It's good to have the knowledge of the tree of life, of Torah. Genesis 6, 5. And Yahweh saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. It was all ra. Some other examples of things that are defined as wicked. Genesis 13:13. 13, 13. But the men of Sodom were wicked, and sinners before Yahweh exceedingly. Genesis 38:7. And Er, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in the sight of Yahweh. And we're going to see the punishment for wickedness. Yahweh slew him. In Pharaoh's dream in Genesis 41.3, And behold, seven other kine, that, that's cattle, cows, came up out after them out of the river, ill-favored. Literally, they looked evil, and lean-fleshed, and stood by the other kind upon the brink of the river. And we know that these uh, skinny cows are going to be consumed by the healthy cows. Another translation, uh, Esther 8.3, And Esther spake yet again before the king, and fell down at his feet, and besought him with tears to put away the mischief of Haman the Agagite, and his device that he had devised against the Jews. I think mischief is kind of a mild word to be used here for the complete genocide of the Jewish nation. Psalm 10.6 He hath said in his heart, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. The arrogant person believes that nothing evil can ever happen to him. But we know Yeshua said that uh, if you are in the world, you will have trouble. The appropriate response for the times of trouble are Psalm 27.5 For in the time of trouble and a time of wickedness, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the circuit of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me upon a rock. The word ra comes from a root, a resh, ayin ayin ra'a. And it is also usually translated as wickedness, but we can get some insight into the exact meaning from these translations. Isaiah 24, 19. The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. So the concept behind Ra or Ra'a is something that is completely broken and can never be put back together again. Job 34, 24. He shall break in pieces mighty men without number and set others in their stead. The other word, which is translated generally as wickedness, is rasha or resha in the noun. Job 34.10 Therefore hearken unto me, ye men of understanding. Far be it from God that he should do wickedness, and from the Almighty that he should commit iniquity. These are things which Yahweh hates, and we should have the same attitude to 
not be involved in anything which is sinful, iniquity, any kind of wickedness. Psalm 10:15. Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. Seek out his wickedness till thou find none. This is something, uh, there is always a punishment. It is usually death when we are at the stage of wickedness. And the best thing is to be purged of it. Psalm 45, 7. Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore God, thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. Speaking of the bridegroom. Isaiah 58, 6. Is not this the fast that I have chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? So we see that wickedness is a kind of a stronghold. As we've been trace, tracing these wrong ways, we have seen that it just starts with the person who is sort of empty-headed, and then he begins to go the wrong way, and then he begins to come attached to the thing that he's doing, and then there's kind of a generic sin. Uh, many of these words are considered to be sin, but then as the man progresses on the way of sin, we see that he becomes attached to it and that he becomes in a repetitive behavior. And now there is something broken inside the man, which makes it difficult for him to walk away. He's in a stronghold of wickedness, of, of evil pattern of behavior, maybe even justifying his own behavior. And uh, we will see what the punishment is. Ezekiel 3.19 Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not away from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. The punishment for wickedness, for consistent uh, action, which is flies in the face of God ignoring his commandments, even a high-handed sin, the punishment is death. Ezekiel 7.11 Violence has risen up into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain, nor of their multitude, nor any of theirs. Neither shall there be wailing for them. No one will lament the loss of the wicked from this earth. Ezekiel 31.11 I have therefore delivered him into the hand of the mighty one of the heathen. He shall surely deal with them. I have driven him out for his wickedness. The punishment for the people of Israel was to be driven out of the land. And this is equivalent in the, in the Hebrew mindset of being cut off because outside of the land there are many commandments that you cannot do. So this is equivalent really to death for them. Hosea 10.13 Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity. Ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou didst trust in thy way in the multitude of thy mighty men. The process always begins with some kind of seed. If, you, if your seed is to be against God, to do things which are not in God's path, which are off his path, away, twisted, uh, and broken in the sense that they do not line up with the word of God, then you are going to reap a harvest of the same. What is the remedy for wickedness? We have to understand that wickedness is in the internal state of the man. Mark 7.21 For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these evil things come from within and defile the man. It is a stronghold in the heart of the human being. And the only possible salvation for it is to turn around. Romans 1, 28 and following. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient or edifying. 
being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whispers, backbiters, haters of God, deceitful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. These people have no remorse for doing things which are against the ways of God. Not only do they have no remorse, but they enjoy their sin. They stick their finger right in the eye of God and say, we don't care. We're going to do what feels good to us. This is the nature of wickedness. These people are covenant breakers. They are not willing to be in covenant with God Almighty of the universe. First John 5.19 And we know that we are of God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. We need to learn how to walk in this world, but not be spotted by the world, to be of the world. 1 John 2.15 Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. And John also said, I have given them thy word, and the word world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I pray not that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but thou shouldst keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. And so this is the solution to wickedness, is to not walk in the ways of this world, but to pray for the protection. We pray that we might be in the shelter of the Most High, that we are hidden in the shadow of his wings. We know that the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. We can run into it and be safe. And this is the only remedy for the wickedness that surrounds us in this world. I will leave you also with what John said. Little children, keep yourself from idols. This will be the last of this series, and uh, we'll be doing some other studies in the near future. In the meantime, keep your eye on the sky, your redemption draweth nigh. Shalom.